Conservative media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the MMA expert, and Paul F. Villarreal there, and we just checked out this whole, we're talking UFC 127. We're talking about Bisping versus Rivera. This was a fight that I would say, in my personal opinion, all our personal opinion, all LJ fact testing, and Spurs check the disclaimers, that our personal opinion had some controversy. Controversy going in, controversy during the fight. Paul, I mean, this whole thing got crazy with that illegal knee by Bisping in the first round, and I didn't even think it should continue. Rivera did not look like he was all there. It was clearly on the ground, and he just unloaded on him in an illegal knee. And I mean, you, you, you tell me about this fight. This was, I don't think Bisping looked good. Yeah, the fight was, uh, it was an interesting fight. Uh, interesting opponent for Michael Bisping. You have a guy in Jorge Rivera that does not really have much of a ground game. We saw that. He's 38 years old. Uh, we respect him, but you know, for somebody like Bisping, that many people feel the UFC has worked extremely hard to promote because, you know, UK, United, uh, British fighter, United Kingdom fighter. And, uh, look, I agree. I'm sure people are going to be saying this fight is tainted. The win is tainted. A lot of controversy after this fight. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to hear the chatter on this one. I think the win is tainted. Listen, I, I, I have no affiliation to the UFC. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not a referee. I wasn't in there. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. But to me, in my eyes, and I think, and you can hear the fan reaction. You can hear the crowd's reaction. I would think with an illegal blow like that, if it would have been stopped like it, it is in boxing, that's a disqualification for Bisping. That's a loss. He just got blasted with the knee on the ground. And so, you know, and then what was even more bizarre about it is while they're checking out Rivera, give him a little bit of time to recover, whatever like that, at some point, I think uh, Rivera, or sorry, Bisping looks to the crowd and he's like, yeah. I mean, to me, Bisping looks like a punk, in my personal opinion, okay? The guy was getting outstruck, he was getting stung. Rivera was getting to him. Now, Bisping has a much more well-rounded, complete game. And Bisping, you know, was desperate sometimes and trying to take him down. Look, Bisping's a good fighter. Sometimes, potentially a very good fighter. He's not a great fighter. When they put him in with real competition like Dan Henderson, he gets, gets exploded. He doesn't have the best defense. And he just talks a lot of trash. It's fine if you talk trash, you can back it up. Hey, wait a second. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've got another thing. This is from Josh Gross, who writes for ESPN. He's an MMA writer. This is what his tweet says. Now, we're not saying that this is correct or not, but apparently he's watching the fight or was there covering it. It says, this is what he says, quote, Bisping tells Rivera to apologize and says, go home, loser. If he wasn't hated before, he is now. Wow. What do you guys think about this? Everybody's going to be talking about this. I want to know what you guys think about this. And, you know, on all that, all personal opinion, not alleging facts, cast any aspersions, check the disclaimers, apply to everything, all that. Comment on it. The whole MMA world is going to buzz about this one. Comments below, subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. That is Paul. We're watching Conservative New Media. And check out all of our other cool MMA videos.